Welcome back guys, this is KJ Trading, and today we'll be going over how to make a gap scanner on TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim to pick out the best stocks to trade every morning. Okay, so your first step is load up TD Ameritrade Thinkorswim and go to the scan tab. As you can see right here, I'm on a scan tab. Some people might load up on the charts tab, um, the home screen, Make sure you're on the scan tab. Next step is to get rid of all the junk that they automatically put in for you. Because none of this is going to be helpful to us. So what you want to do is you just want to click X on all this. Hit remove condition filter here. Remove this one. Whatever you have. So you just have nothing. And you can hit scan whatever. This is going to be whatever it puts in there for you. None of that's going to be helpful. So, what we want to do, um, where'd it go? I think I just ruined it. Oh, there we go. So you want to have any of the following up. Just so you can put up anything you want in this category. So how I did that is you want to go into, you, you probably got rid of everything like I did. I meant to say don't get rid of any of the following, but if you did, you want to go to the first, uh, you want to go right here, you want to hit add condition group, and you want to click all of the following. Okay, so, sorry for that. Now what we want to do is we want to click add filter, we want to click stock, and we want to add three of these stock filters. So that's one, two, and three. Now after this, what we want to do is we want to add a study filter. Now this is everything in the scanner that we need. So now the first thing we need to do to actually make the scanner work is we need to change all the values in here. So this can be um, customized to whatever you want, but what I have it on, um, you want to change this to the closed price. So it picks up the closed price of whatever the stock is. And I have it at $1. This is the minimum um, it has to be to be in the scanner. And then the maximum I do is $20. And then click enter. You can see just that, that amount of stocks is all it's going to be popping up in there. Now the second stock filter you want is going to be volume. So you click on here. And you scroll through. I think volume is all the way at the bottom. Almost. It's right here. Click volume. And what volume does is it sorts all the stocks that have a certain amount of volume that you want. So in the morning, I'm looking for any stock that has at least 1 million volume, minimum. And max, it can be left alone because it will just automatically fill it for you. So you want a stock with at least 1 million volume that will show that most of the day traders um, either were trading this pre-market or are looking at it now as soon as the market opens. The third um, stock, um, uh, what do you call it? Scanner tool is you want to have shares. Now shares kind of acts like a float. Um, it tells you how many shares outstanding the company has, and the lower the float of the stock, the lower, I mean, the more the stock can move with price action. So you want to put shares. And I do the max of 75 million of a float. That's really low. And that makes sure that whatever the stock is, it's going to be moving. So you can click enter. Okay. So now we got the close price, $1 to $20. It's going to make the price of our stocks in that range. Volume, it's going to make the volume, as you can see here, um, this is just random stuff. A minimum of a million, so there's not going to be any of these junk stocks in here, and it can have a max of whatever you want. Um, the float, you want a max of 75 million to make sure that the stocks have a lower float than average, so they move more. And now the study, what we want to do is click gap up. I just got to remember where it is in here. I think it's in here. Yeah. Okay. So you want to go down the price performance. Mm -hmm. Want to move it sideways so you get here and you want to click gap up. 
And now for current bars, it says low, you want that to be open. I typically put this at 5%, and then I put this on the close. And then once you're done, click scan. Now these are all the stocks today. Um, app today is the day after the election. So not that many stocks are really moving today. But some days you'll have like ones that are 100%, 200%, gapping up like 12 bucks. Um, but this is what we got. So to save this, so you don't lose it, you want to click up here. Nope, the second one. You want to click Save, Scan, Query. And then you can call it Gap Scanner. And this is just going to be the tutorial. I'm going to put a T after that because I already have one. I don't need this one. I'm just going to call it T. Call that T. You can save it. Now it's saved. Now you hit scan again. And it'll come back. And now one more thing that I want to show you guys. Uh, sometimes it takes a second. Come on. If it doesn't work the first time, you just do it again. Why is it being so slow? Uh, hello? I don't know why it's being so slow here. It's actually never done this before. Um, it's only 1.15. It's not like the stock market's closed. Um... If this happens, I guess what you want to... Okay, there we go. Alright, loaded. If that does happen to you, I guess you can wait. Or you click up here, and you since you saved it, and you named it, you can click Load Scan Query. You want to go to Hover Over Personal, and then these are all their, the scans you have created. I have a Gap Scanner, which is the one we just created. Or this is the one I have. This is the one we just created. I named it T. And a Pre-Market Scanner is different. Um, but yeah. The one I use is the gap scanner. So that's what we have. Second thing is your search results. You don't want, there's like 15 different things in here. And the most important ones is what I have in here. You want your mark, your percent change, so you can scan through them for the most, so you get that on top. Your net change, so you know how much they move, your volume, and then your volume index. That shows you um, like kind of like a relative volume like how much more volume they have today than they did the other day. So of course the stock here gapped up a ton. And I'm going to show you the stock right now. So the stock name is Sava. If you want to go to if you want to make this easy, what you do you can go like this. Click gap scanner. I'll put it on T, the one we just created. Um you might have to customize this. You don't need ask, you don't need bid, and you don't need last. What you do need is percent change and mark. Mark will tell you the true price, what they are at that exact moment. That's what I always use. You want it to have, you want it to be just like this. And now you can see this is our scanner and our watch list, and it's on one, so it's linked to our chart. So anything we click in here will load. So as you can see, this stock was only. Nine dollars yesterday, and it gapped up pre-market all the way to ten. Not the best. Sold off, and now it's having a big continuation day. Um, this other stock here, it went from eighteen to twenty-three pre-market, and all the day traders are watching this one because it went from twenty-one to twenty-two. I mean, that's not that good, but it's still better than nothing. Um, this stock, I guess they were just created because I can't go back any further. You know, all these stocks. This would be the best one since it moved the most, most likely. And I was going to teach you how to get rid of all that junk in here. So what you want to do is you want to click on this tiny little settings button and hit customize. And now everything in here is what you want. I'll leave this up for a second so you can get rid of everything else. Like other things that are in there that you don't need is like last, ask, bid, um, company like profile like it tells you what they're about you don't really need that stuff if you're day trading them 
because we don't really care what the stock is. We will only care about what their news is and why everybody's watching them. So this is everything you need. You want their symbol, so you know what it is. The mark, so you know what the price is. Percent change, so you know how much they gapped up and what they are currently up now. Their net change, so you know how much they are up. Their volume, so you know how much volume they had today. It looks like um, 43 million, whatever that one is. DRAD has the most volume in the market today for the gap and go stocks. And then the volume index kind of shows you how much more volume they have today. So this is what it will look like, and then you can sort it by however you want by clicking it. So I sorted it by mark here. So that means it's not sorted. It will be however, um, however they put it. Now if it's up, it's going to give you the cheapest ones first. And if it's down, it's going to give you the most expensive ones first. And that's the same for everything. It's going to give me the least percent changers first, and if I do it again, it's going to be the, the biggest percent changers. I always have a percent change, because that's what really matters. And as you can see, they have the most um, volume change. They have 150% more volume today than they did any other day. Um, we can get rid of this now. Go back to charts, and there you go. Um, you should have it saved, so anytime you want to load it up, if it's not in here, you would just click here. You click load. Or you, you hover over load. Hover over personal, and you can click it. And if it's not loading, you just click scan. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. hope you guys learned something. Uh, make sure to subscribe, like, leave a comment if you have any um, anything else you'd like me to show you guys. I will be making more content soon. Thank you for watching.